here I have the MX32X Nano namespace board which is suitable for 120mm size quadcopters like the Super X. This is basically NACE32 based so it does support clean flight. The only limitation is that it only runs on 1S or 2S so if you want to run this on a 250 quadcopter which runs on higher voltage like 3S or 4S then this board is not suitable. Anyways. This board is 2990 and it comes with the integrated DSM2 receiver but the receiver is not very good it seems to have some brown up issues over here voltage in 3.3 RX and PPM which is blocked by the red wire this is where I sold the PPM and I also sold the ground and I need 5 volts instead of 3.3 volts so I solder it to one of the voltage for IC which is here I could solder it to the voltage in over here the power leads but if I solder it here then I will not be able to have the receiver power on by the USB so I want to have this receiver power on when I have the USB plug in and the only way to go is to tap 5 volts from the leg of the voltage regulator and basically it's the same thing like most other receiver that supports PPM you have ground voltage in 5 volts and then you have the PPM and like I've said PPM look for the PPM on your NACE board and there you go I have it working this is clean flight by the way and I could adjust the trotter and I could roll page forward your right so notice when I your right and page forward at the same time so the bar comes to the same length about the same length you got to adjust the end points on your transmitter on your radio because the software doesn't allow you to do that and by default you're not going to get the um, trotter to match the trotter bar here instead by default if you move the trotter stick you're going to see the row bar moving so you got to change the mapping simply go to the channel map and change it here to AETR1234 and then remember to save also go to settings page and you scroll down make sure you select PPM instead of the RX serial which is the previous um, satellite kind of um, receiver so select PPM and then if you scroll down some more you have the various provider which doesn't really matter the only thing that makes the difference would be the PPM here and also at the radio you got to set the channel mapping to AETR1234 oh by the way I forgot to mention that the receiver I'm using is the orange R415X from Hobby King it comes packed with lots of features like brown out recovery and two antennas for dual polarization instead of the single polarized antenna although it is slightly bigger than the serial based DSM2 integrated receiver board it is in fact smaller than the satellite if you are familiar with one of those basically it's an excellent receiver with lots of features and it costs 990 USD and supports advanced fail safe and other kinds of important features such as when there's not enough voltage to the receiver at any point in time it doesn't cause your analog servo to seize up and go to the extreme end of its travel that's all I have thank you for watching and subscribe if you like this kind of videos